Okay, continuing with the FEP hydraulics homework for Chapter 5, we're going to do Problem 5 here. We have this given information for our culvert, and we're going to find the headwater depth for a 60-inch reinforced concrete pipe with a grooved end and head wall. Um, we're given KE information for that. Then we're going to find the headwater depth for a 60-inch corrugated metal pipe with KE information. And then we're going to compare the concrete and metal pipes in terms of inlet and outlet control. So I'm going to go ahead and start with A, which is the reinforced concrete pipe, and I'm going to do my inlet control first. So inlet control for this uh, RCP uh, where the diameter is 60 inches, and my flow rate given here is 170 cubic feet per second. And that's all I'm going to need to know to go to chart 2, um, which is going to tell me inlet control information for headwater um, for my concrete pipe culvert. So let's go ahead and look at that here. Chart 2. So I've got my 60 inch diameter. I'm going through my 170 cubic feet per second discharge line and I'm going to go all the way here to my entrance type 1 but remember I do have um, a, as it says here, a grooved end uh, with a head wall so I'm going to go over to this second line here, not all the way to the third because I have grooved end with head wall so I'm going to stop here and I can see that with that information I have this is my 1.0 line and this is my 1.5 line so this would be uh, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, I'm not all the way to that 1.2 line so I'm going to go ahead and call that uh, HW over D 1.19 of course you could call it 1.2 and that would be okay but I'm a little short of it so I'll go ahead and use that value so I'll say that HW over D is equal to 1.19. Remember we were in the type 2 entrance scenario there. And then I can take that 1.19, solve for HW. I'll take that 1.19 and multiply by the D. That's 60 inches, which is the same as 5 feet. So we'll multiply that by 5 feet, and we get 5.95 feet for the inlet uh, headwater for type for that uh, reinforced concrete pipe. Let's go ahead and find the outlet. So that's the inlet control for that. Let's do the outlet control for that same pipe. Uh, for our outlet, we're going to have to use that interior thing. So in addition to our diameter and our Q, we're also going to have to look at the length of this whole culvert. And the length is 75 feet. And we do have that uh, entrance loss coefficient for that reinforced concrete pipe equal to 0.2. So let's go ahead and look at that chart and for the outlet control chart we're going to move on to chart 9. So this was chart 2 for the first one, the second one is going to be chart 9. Again for our reinforced concrete pipe here but under outlet control and we're just assuming flowing full. So in this case, I'm going to start in the middle. I've got my 60-inch uh, diameter, and I'm connecting that to that 75-foot length on the KE equals 0.2 uh, line here. And so that gives me my turning point here. Put my hatch line, and then I'll start, come all of the way over here with my Q of 170, go through my hatch line, and come over and pull off a head amount here. And remember, these increase as we go down. So if this is 1, and that's 2, this is 1.5 and the halfway point and so we're one tick mark below that so we're going to call that 1.6 for that head for the uh, concrete pipe culvert outlet control. So we read that H is equal to 1.6 feet. So now we'll go ahead and plug that into our formula to solve for the headwater where head water is equal to that head of 1.6 feet plus the tail water depth which is 4.5 feet and then we have to subtract the slope times the length well in this case we're not given a slope so let's calculate our slope really quickly here we have uh, 
0.6 feet and we're going to subtract that height of 987.2 feet and take it over that whole length that that's happening, which is 75 feet. And so that's going to give me a slope of 0 0.0187. So we'll subtract that 0 0.0187, which is happening over that distance of 75 feet. And keeping that all to one decimal place, I do get a uh, headwater uh, answer of 4.7 feet. So that is for my outlet control for my reinforced concrete pipe. And so in this case I compare my HW for inlet control, my HW for outlet control. Inlet control is bigger so inlet control is going to govern in this first case. Let's go ahead and check it for our outlet control. I mean for our uh, second type of pipe here for corrugated metal pipe and see how those two compare. So for this is for our CMP and we'll do the inlet control first. Again we have the same information. The diameter is 60 inches. Same thing as 5 feet. Our Q is still 170 cubic feet per second. The only thing that really changed here is that we have a new KE value of 0.25. So for our corrugated metal pipe here for our inlet control we're going to start off on chart 5. So let's take a look at chart 5. To go. And we do have that uh, grooved end with head wall so we're going to just be in type 1 for that one since we just have the head wall. Uh, information there. And so we're at that 60 inch diameter. We're going through the 170 line and we're just going to stop at that first line for the head wall. So that is just a value of 1.3 there. This is 1.0, that's 1.5. Each tick mark is 1 tenth. So we get an HW over D value of 1.3 for that corrugated metal pipe information. So let's write that one down. HW over D is going to be that 1.3 and so we can now solve for HW. We'll take that 1.3 multiply it by the D. Remember that is the 5 feet and so that gives us a new HW of 6.5 feet. So that's our inlet control. HW 6.5 feet. Let's try outlet control for that same pipe. Remember we all still have that length uh, equal to 75 feet, but my KE now is the 0.25. So let's put that down. And so for outlet control for the corrugated metal pipe, I'm going to need chart 11. So let's take a look here what's happening on chart 11. All right, I'm up here at the uh, 170 mark, but I need to do my inside line first so I can get my turning point. So I'm going to match up my 60 uh, inch diameter with 75. That's on the KE equals 0.25 line. And so I get you know, a turning point right in here. And now I'm going to take that 170 and travel through that turning point over to the head value. I can see this is 2 and this is 3. So each of those tick marks is going to be 2 tenths. So I have 2.2, 2.4, and looks like I'm intersecting right at 2.6 there for a head value. So we'll take that value off of there, plug it into the formula here for head water. So we've got our 2.6 feet uh, plus that 4.5 feet of tail water which was given, that stays constant, and then we're going to subtract that slope, and that is the same as we found earlier, 0 0.0187, and that travels over this whole 75 feet, and so that does give us a headwater value uh, of 5.7 feet, Uh, which again is less than the inlet control headwater value of 6.5 feet. So just the same as for the reinforced concrete pipe, inlet control is going to govern for both. So when we go down here to part C, 
uh, and were asked how do the concrete and metal pipes compare uh, in terms of inlet or outlet control. Uh, my answer is that they are uh, both inlet controlled. Since the inlet control headwater is greater than the outlet control for both of these pipe 